Right. Well, hello. My name is J O S. And I'm more excited about it than they are. <laughs> Oh, but are you good on your last name, Otto? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yes. That's my show. Thank you. <laughs> Well, today we're here because I believe that there is magic everywhere, and the true magic is in staying positive. So we're going to be talking about all the different ways that we can use to stay positive in our everyday lives. But before we start, so that you can get to know me and I can get to know you, I have a little story for you folks. Because... By a show of hands, how many of you have ever seen me before? <laughs> See, uh, on Facebook. A couple of you. I've oh. seen your face on oh, Facebook. On Facebook, yeah. <laughs> By another show of hands, who has never seen me before? Most of you. <laughs> so you might be wondering if I'm any good. But what you might not realize is I'm wondering the same thing about you. <laughs> As an audience, are you going to be any good? <laughs> so we're going to get to know each other with a little story about how I got started in magic. I was just five years old. I did my very first magic show right out of this box. I made it myself. And I was in my parents' living room. There was about, oh, 12 or so people gathered around, and inside the box, I had some playing cards. Now, mind you, I was five years old, so the cards looked like they were very big. <laughs> I had one, two, three, four, five cards. One of them went inside the box. And yet, even though I placed one inside the box, I still had one two, three, four, five cards. Everyone was stunned silent that they all threw their hands up in the air, just like this, and they said, yay! Yay! <laughs> all together, though. <laughs> Let's try that again. I blame the story, though. Perhaps the story didn't engage you enough. I'm going to tell you a slightly different story about the very first magic show I ever did. I was just four years old. <laughs> four years old, I did my first magic show right out of this box. I didn't know how to spell yet. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> there was about a hundred people gathered around <laughs> in my parents' living room. This story is about 50% true. I had one, two, three, four, five humongous cards, little tiny baby hands. I placed one and two cards away, and yet I still had one, two, three, four, five cards. Everyone threw their hands up in the air, they said, yay! Yay! <laughs> that was fantastic. <laughs> But we need a little more enthusiasm. This is going to be a fun magic show, so we need a little more energy. I'm going to tell you one last story about the very first magic show I ever did. I was just three years old. <laughs> I didn't even know how to make words yet. <laughs> there was about a thousand people <laughs> gathered around in my parents' living room. My mother was getting nervous. We ran out of juice for the guests. <laughs> I had one, two, three, four, five humongous cards, little tiny baby hands. 
And I put one, two, three, four, five, <clears throat> six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine cards. I love your face. <laughs> I was only three, I didn't know how to count yet. <laughs> so of the five cards, I put nine of them away. <laughs> and yet I still had one, two, Woo! three, four, five cards. Wow. Everyone was so amazed when all the cards disappeared with everyone's hand! Thank you. Thank you. Are we all ready to have some fun? Yes? Yes. 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 We like the box fun. changes the name. It's <laughs> great steady change. Yeah. You're right. Magic. Magic. The only thing I did can't wait. What's that? <laughs> the only thing I did can't wait. Oh. It's my favorite answer. Yeah. All right, for my next magic trick. I need someone who likes to read to help me out. Who likes to read? Oh, oh everyone Jelly. points to her. What's, what's your name? Jelly. Y-A-N-L-E-R-R-I. Uh, uh, slower. <laughs> slower. Y-A-N-L-E-R-R-I-S. Jelly. Jelly. Oh, it's a beautiful name. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Will you please join us up here? Give her a nice big hand. So you like to read. Have you ever read this book? I wrote it. <laughs> Not too many people have read it. This is a joke book. It has absurd jokes in it. It has such, such jokes as... Hmm, why did the cookie cry? The cookie. The cookie was crying. The cookie was crying. <laughs> that's not. That's not real. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it's an absurd joke. joke. The cookie cried because it was feeling crummy. <laughs> crummy, <laughs> like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I won't make you read any jokes, but I will have you look at one word in the book. I'm going to flip through the pages of the book. Wherever you say stop, that's going to become your page, and you're going to look at the first word of the page. Make sense? All right. Just say stop at any point. Stop. Right there? Yeah. Are you happy there? Yeah. The bookmark goes in. You're going to look at the very first word. Don't tell me what the word is. And don't tell anyone else just yet. So you just look at the word, the very first word of the page. Do you see it? If I ask you later, will, will you be able to tell us what it is? All right. You may hold on to the book. Inside my suitcase. I have a piece of paper, and on that piece of paper, I have a word written down. Is it possible that the word on that piece of paper is the word that you are just thinking of right now? Is it possible? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. You said yes, yes. You say no. <laughs> yes, think positive. Think positive. <laughs> As soon as you say your word, I'm going to take the piece of paper out, and we're going to, I'm going to open up the piece of paper. I'm going to show everyone the word. Are you ready? What word are you thinking of? Eat. Eat. On this piece of paper, inside of this book, <laughs> I have, oh my goodness, there it is. Is that your word? Yeah. Eat! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Sarcasm from all the way over there. <laughs> now, one of the 
very important things about staying positive is that we have to remember uh, to, to communicate effectively, to listen to what other people are, are saying. Right? That's a huge part of staying positive. Now, what I said is true. The word that you were thinking of was on a piece of paper in my suitcase. I didn't tell you that it was in a dictionary. <laughs> but what I said was true. But if we're going to be more specific, yes, there is a piece of paper hiding in the very back of this book. It has a picture of me on one side. It has a picture of me. And if we take that out on the other side, <laughs> eat. What? Whoa. Wow. Let's give her a nice big hand. Wow. Thank you very much. One more big hand. Oh, I almost forgot. You can keep this as a souvenir. <laughs> You're welcome. So listening carefully, understanding where other people are coming from, understanding what other people's intentions are, this can help us in our everyday life. It can also help us with magic, but it can also help us with riddles. Do any of you like riddles? Some of you do? Who doesn't like riddles? <laughs> That's me. I don't like riddles. <laughs> I'm terrible at solving them. But what I do like to do is I like to hear the answer to a riddle and then go back and figure out all the different clues that were in the riddle. Because the clues, the words that are in a riddle, they give us clues, but they also confuse. Let me show you what I mean. I like riddle, but it's hard for me, but I don't know. Uh, it's hard for me. I like riddles because it's hard. Riddles are difficult. That's why I don't like them. <laughs> Here's one riddle for you folks. With a knot tied to the handkerchief, is it possible for me to get the knot out yeah. without me untying it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. no. So he's like, no. So much yeah. negativity. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag positivity, right? She was. Now remember, it's all in the words, right? The rule is that I can't untie it. But maybe I could have someone else do it for me. This is another... <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Rena. Rena, Rena. Rena, would you help us out with this next magic trick? Yes. Would you please join us up here? Give her a nice big yes. hand. Yes. This is a huge part of staying positive. It's getting help from our friends. Now, sometimes you're going to be the person who needs help, but sometimes you're going to be the one who needs to help someone out. So you're going to help us out with this. Oh, no. Mm. <laughs> the magic wand. You may take the wand. You're going to give the wand a little wave, just like this, over the knot. And when you do, we're going to be able to take the knot out. <laughs> Without untying it, we're not going to untie it. <laughs> She's fun. <laughs> you may take the wand. <laughs> You're going to... Oh, my... <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> All right, let's try this. You may take this wand, take both wands and give oh it like oh <laughs> 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 Alright, you may uh, take this wand as well and give it <laughs> Out of hands, choose one more person to help you out. 
I think we need some. Come right over here, right over here. All right. Are you ready? All right. Here we go. All right. On the count of three. You're going to wave. All the ones. <laughs> oh, no. oh, we'll hey. say the magic words. Oh. Do you know what the magic words are? No. Abracadabra. Abra oh, yeah. yeah. High five. High five. That's exactly right. On the count of three, we'll wave the ones. We'll all say the magic words. And hope, hopefully the trick is going to work. <laughs> On the count of one, two, three. That was perfect. <laughs> Watch close. Wow! Uh, look at the face. <laughs> Let's give these two a nice big hand. Back. Thank you very much. And one more big hand for our helpers. They did a wonderful job. Yeah. Thank you very, very much. Wait, okay, money. That's probably going to be my favorite part. Yeah, thanks. Um, going to be like, yeah. So that's a big part of staying positive. Is sometimes our hands are going to be full, so we need to get other people to help us. But sometimes we are going to be the ones who have to help out our friends who have their own hands full. So one more thank you so much for helping us out with that. All right. What's that? And it had a hole. It had a hole. Sometimes magic leaves holes. Better not leave a hole on my head. Oh, what's that? I, I say better not leave a hole on my head. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> magic? All right, so we did a great job with that riddle. Let's try another riddle because it, a lot of this uh, ties back into positivity. Remember, it's, a lot of it is what we focus on. Sometimes we focus on the wrong things. And that's where we get into trouble. I have a little magic trick. Oh, let's let's use this. Who has a good imagination? Several of you do? All right. Try this. I have one, two, three little white plastic invisible cups on the stool. Can you see the invisible cups? No. <laughs> no. no. <Okay>. Imagination. <laughs> Use your imagination. I love them. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I also have a little red ball. It's also invisible. Can you see the little red ball? Yeah. yeah. I'm using my oh. imagination. Imagine positive imagination. <laughs> the ball. It's white. Oh, oh, it's white? Oh, it's it's a red ball. A little red ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the cups are white. Yes, the cups are white. All right. The ball goes inside my pocket. I'm going to sneak the ball out of my pocket and place it underneath one of the cups. But here's the thing. You're not going to see me place it inside one of the cups. You have to guess what cup it is. You can only choose one. Do you think the ball is underneath cup number one, cup number two, or cup number three? If you think you have an answer, don't say anything out loud. Just think of what your answer is. And once you have it, just raise your hand. Once you have an answer. All right, we have a few people, a few folks. Let's go over here. And your name? Millie. 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 I, uh, one. What cup has the ball? And the middle. The middle one, so cup number two. Yeah. So not one, yeah. not three, no. but two. Yeah. All right. Drum roll, please. Oh. 
I'm sorry, it's not underneath cup number two. But good guess, good guess. <laughs> I'm gonna throw away cup number two. <laughs> we have cup number one and cup number three left. What cup do we think it is? Right over here. What's your name? Geneva. Oh, Geneva. Thank you. Geneva. We have cup number one and cup number three. What cup do you think it is? One. Cup number one. Why do you think it's underneath cup number one? Because, because the red ball is under. It's not three, it's one. <laughs> <laughs> I, what I like about you, Geneva. Just, that's where you put it. That is where you put it. <laughs> I, I love your confidence. And at its core, that's what I believe positivity is about is being confident. Let's take a look and see if you're right. Drum roll, please. There it is! It was underneath cup number one! Give her a nice big hand! Oh my goodness! I don't know how you knew. But remember, this is a riddle. And the, the words in a riddle are meant to give us clues. They're also meant to confuse. When I set up the riddle, I told you that you could only choose one. Now, we thought that I meant you could only choose one of the cups, but I meant that you could only choose cup number one. Ah! ah. Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, now that we understand that riddle, I have with me. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> cup number one. Is there anything inside the cup? <laughs> Other than dust. <laughs> Anything inside? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing inside, right? I see. Hmm? I see. Well, there's, there might be a little dust in there. <laughs> but other than that. There's a little tiny brown speck. Number one. Oh, I almost forgot. The little red ball. The ball starts off inside the cup. Right? You can see it inside the cup. Right? The ball goes inside my pocket. I'm going to try and sneak the ball out of my pocket and get it back underneath the cup without any of you seeing. Make sense? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Are you sure? <coughs> no. <laughs> Would you like to see that again? It was a little quick. I love your face now. <laughs> Once again, the ball starts off inside the cup. Oh, there is a rule in magic. I'm never supposed to do the same trick twice for the same audience. Because if you've seen it once, it takes away the surprise. I'm going to break this rule today to show you this again. Is the ball still inside the cup? Yes? Yeah. All right. The ball goes inside my pocket. This is where I get nervous. Oh. <laughs> He's on I to me. I get it. Because, remember, it's all in the words. Our world is defined by the words that we choose to focus on, the words that we use to display our circumstances. I said that I was putting the ball inside my pocket, but you never saw the ball go inside my pocket. You only saw my hand go inside the pocket. 
Yeah, yeah. there's no way it can be there. The logical conclusion is the ball never left the cup. Let's take a look and see. It did leave the cup. It did leave the cup. It actually is inside my pocket. But this is what I want us to understand about riddles. It's what I want us to understand about magic and really about life. Because a huge part of staying positive is understanding that there's going to be surprises along the way. Sometimes surprises can make, turn us to be negative. But really, if we expect the surprises, then we can always be ready to have a positive day. This is what I want us to understand. If we thought the ball was going to be underneath the cup, I would have showed you that it was inside my pocket. But if we thought it was inside my pocket, I would have showed you that it was actually underneath the cup this whole time. Wow. Isn't this fun? <laughs> uh, it was in there. Yeah. And then the pocket, and then the cup. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, but today you have two red balls. Do you have two red yeah. balls? Oh. oh, yeah. You see, I think she's on to me. There's, we now know, because we've seen this three times, we know that there's more than just one ball. There's more than just the cup, right? Now, you think it's a second ball? Yes. Does anyone else have any ideas of what it might be? What do you think? I think a third ball. A third ball? Yes. There is a third something. Let's take a look and see what it is. Oh, my God. Lemon. <laughs> it's a lemon. <laughs> I love your face. I really, it's just wonderful. <laughs> I was watching his hand. I was watching his hand while he was doing his hand. <coughs> because the magic word to stay positive is focus, right? We get what we focus on. There's a famous saying, when life gives us lemons, what do we do? Oh, we eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I like your attitude. <laughs> Think positive, right? <laughs> but if we just eat a lemon, it can be kind of sour, right? Lemons are sour. We don't want to have sour experiences. We want to have sweet experiences, right? So before we eat it, what might we do? Cut it. Cut it? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. <laughs> when life gives us lemons, as the saying goes, oh. we oh oh we make lemonade. Sugar. We make lemonade. That's exactly right. So we take what life gives us. Sometimes it's a sour thing. Sometimes it's a sour surprise. But we can turn even sour things into positive things to always make every day a positive day. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> because this next magic trick I have for you folks is my favorite. This is a magic trick that really shows us how sometimes we get into tight, difficult situations and how using positivity we can get out of it. This is a card trick. Do we have any card players here? Do you have a few card players? Oh, who am I playing? Let's go over here. What's your name? Um, Helen. Helen? All right, Helen. Let's move this over here. All right. Helen. You're going to choose a playing card. I know this trick. Oh, don't tell them how it ends. <laughs> <laughs> Helen, I'm going to give the cards a little mix. As I shuffle through the cards, wherever you say stop, that will become your card. If you stop me up here, you'll get one of those. If you stop me there near the bottom, you'll get one of those. Make sense, yes? Mm -hmm. All right. Say stop at any point. Stop. Right there. Take a look at your card. Don't tell me what it is. Just remember what it is. All right. Yeah. And Helen, point to anyone else here. Choose someone else to help out as well. 
Over here, all right. Same thing. I'm gonna shuffle through. Just say stop at any point. Stop. Right there, take a look at your card. Don't tell me what it is. I'll show the people around you. And choose one last person to help out. Choose one more person. Millie. Millie, Millie. All right, I'm gonna shuffle through the cards. Just say stop as I shuffle through. Stop. Right there, take a look. Don't tell me what it is. All right, I'll show the people around you. Millie, you have a very important job. You're gonna take the cards and you're just gonna give them a little mix. Mix them up. Now this is where most card tricks would end. The cards are picked, the cards are shuffled, and then the magician finds the card. But this is where things take a little bit of a turn. And to help us out with the next part of this trick, I'm gonna ask Miss Erica, will you please? Join us. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh, please. Thank you. All right. You have a very important job. What in the world is that? Oh, I know you know that. This is. You know what this is? Yeah. What is this? That is a great that is I'm gonna do some more of it. That's yeah. that's exactly right. This is a straight jacket that it's going to keep me from, from, from moving. It's going to keep my arms tight to make it difficult to find those three cards. I'm going to take this off. And let's see. Thank you. I'm going to turn so everyone can see what's going on. There is a series of buckles starting at the very top. We're going to pull those buckles as tight as we can and work our way all the way down until they're all tight. There is a magician named Houdini. Oh, but I know him. <laughs> You've heard of him? Yeah. Now, what was Houdini famous for? Be a, be a, be a musician. Yes. Yeah. He, I had the book. Oh, you have one of his yeah. books, yeah. He was one of the most famous magicians of yeah. all time. He used to perform this trick. And, uh, one more. <laughs> My arms as well. So Houdini used to escape from the straitjacket in just about two minutes. <laughs> That's really tight. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so Houdini could escape in just about two minutes. I'm going to see if I can break Houdini's record, or at the very least, break my own personal record of just about two hours. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Whichever comes first. <laughs> On the count of three, is everyone ready? Yeah. yeah. I said, are you ready? Yeah! yeah. Well, you don't have to yell. <laughs> <laughs> On the count of one. Right. One. Two. No. Two. Three. Two. Three. <laughs> 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 to find those cards too. <laughs> Thank you.
One more card. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, this is it. Lucky coin. <laughs> Never leave home without it. Okay, I'm out of the straitjacket. But did I find those three cards? Yes. Let's see. Uh, who who chose cards? It was over here. One, two, and three. All right. Keep your hands up if you chose a card. I'm going to say, I'm going to show everyone your card. If you see your card, you're going to lower your hand. Who chose the three of clubs? Lower your hand. Whose card was this? Lower your hand. Was this your card? No, it's like a... No, it wasn't. Maybe John Lady's is thinking maybe... It was your card? Yeah. It was your card? Yes. High five! I was in a straight jacket, and I not only found your card, but I also got out of the straight jacket. That was card number one. Who chose the King of Hearts? Whose was? That was your card. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Thank you. This is this is incredible. High five! High five! All right, that's two. One last card. This must be yours, ladies and gentlemen. The Jack of Spades. Give her a nice big um, hand. Yeah. Are you sure that wasn't your card? Wait. Are you sure? Are you positive? Are you positive? Hers <laughs> was the. All right. Oh. <laughs> well, you know what they say. There is this. There is this great philosopher yeah. that once told us. Two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> Meatloaf, I think his name is. Meatloaf. It's a strange name, but very <laughs> wise man. I'll tell you what, I don't like to end on a negative note. This, this whole presentation is, is about positivity, right? So we're going to end on a positive note. Let's think about this. This is a little test. What do we do when life gives us lemons? Yes. We, oh, we dead it. We, we, yes. You see, earlier you said that we cut it, right? Yeah. No, beat it. Oh, who beat said it, that? It, you said that. It. Yeah, we can, we can cut the lemon. Everyone has seen the magic trick where the magician saws his assistant in half, yeah. right? Yeah. I don't do that trick. I do the sawing a lemon in half trick. <laughs> because when we do... When we get to the very core, oh, I think I know what's in three. we'll find inside uh, it's gross. <laughs> a playing card. No. Oh, wow. Ew. Whoa. <laughs> what was your card? The number three is. Red. Red three. The red three? The three of hearts. Wow. 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 Was that your card? <laughs> Give her a nice <laughs> big wow. yes, for you. Thank you for your help, I find. <laughs> I hope that you've learned a few things about how to stay positive through being confident through focusing on the right things, through carefully choosing positive words, about helping each other out. In fact, the worksheets beneath your chairs, the word searches, those are for you to, to take home and to try and find as many 
positive words as you can, I think what you'll discover is that there might be some negative words hiding in there too that kind of try and get you to look away from the positive things in life. But our goal on the worksheet and in everyday life is to only focus on what is going to help us have a fantastic, magical life. Are you all excited? Yes? Yes. yes. Thank you. Well, it's been a pleasure being here today. Do we have any questions? Oh, oh, actually, before I forget, uh, I, am, I have a big positive influence in my life. It's my best friend, Jason. Yay. Jason is the, is the creator of hashtag positivity. Cool. Perhaps he has a few words he wants to say or... Sure. Yeah. So Jonas and I have been friends a long, long time. Um, probably longer than he would like to admit. <laughs> but um, both of us, we used to live together, and we've, we've had some really good times, but we've also had some really bad times. We've helped each other along the way, and a lot of that was because he had a positive attitude, or I had a positive attitude, that we could share with one another and help each other through tough situations. So I hope that his, his presentation today helped you guys out. And if you're able to help someone in the future, I encourage you to do that because we're still best friends, be friends for a long, long time. And I hope you guys can uh, learn to do the same. All right, thank you for having us. Any questions? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your magic is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Do you do some more? Do some more? <laughs> mm. <laughs> I don't always do an encore. But I might have one I can show you if I brought it with me. I might need to borrow something. See if I have enough money. <laughs> All right, I have a dollar bill. Some people accuse me of cheating and using some sort of secret special kind of dollar bill. So we can use mine. Or perhaps one of the teachers might have a dollar bill I could borrow. Which which would you? We could use mine too if you you know. It's, okay, we'll use yours. We'll use yours. I don't want you to think I'm going to cheat. Thank you. You're welcome. I will cheat. I just don't want you to know that I will. I'm an honest man. This is my favorite magic trick, and. I don't always do an encore, but what I do, this is the trick that I do. Because this dollar bill represents us right now. This is our potential. We are all here. We are this dollar bill. But if we could imagine this dollar bill to be anything other than just a one dollar bill, what might we imagine it to be? Now before you, you give us an answer, think about this. In my, in my life, it's been my experience that whatever we want in life, if we're willing to work towards it, if it's something we really, really want, we're willing to ask for help along the way. In other words, if we're willing to stay positive, we can achieve anything. So if this could be something other than just a $1 bill, what might we imagine this to be? Yeah. Up, uh, up. Uh. Two dollar bill. A two dollar bill. So you want to double your money, yeah. right? Hundred dollars. I like your attitude. Oh, what did you say? Five dollars. Ten dollars. Well, remember, we can achieve anything we want. So if that's true, then why not dream big? I just said it. 
Look at the faces. I love. I hey, love Deb. this. Hey, Deb. <laughs> oh, 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 thank you. Oh, oh, you gave this to me. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate that. Change it back. Before we end here, though, this is a positive message. However, part of being positive is honoring reality, right? Because being having a hundred dollar bill, achieving our biggest, most wildest dreams, it's a good thing to focus on, right? But that is our ambition, that's our attitude. But right now, we're all right here. Right now, we are just our dollar bill filled with dreams. <laughs> Filled with hopes. And I love your face. I really do. <laughs> Thank you for letting me borrow this. Let's give her a nice big hand. Wait, I saw he folded and then he and then he was gonna wait, he folded and then he was gonna unwrap it. I just saw it change. What? That's yeah. what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what? The magic money. I, I just saw it when he was poultry. He was just folding it and he was going to open it. We all do. He just folded it. Practice. Yep. Practice. I think. Oh, my. Me? So you must hey. know how you, you do that. You know that. You know I do that. You saw it too. You have to focus on the money. I know if I can explain it. Oh, oh. Yeah. the card, the, you could take the card of doubles, double of numbers. Doubles Do you have, did you numbers. have two copies of those cards in the deck? Oh, in the deck of cards, or for doing the card trick? Yeah. That's a trade secret. I, I can't oh. divulge oh. that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A a oh, well, that's the last trick I'm going to do. When I do. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> how? Geneva said, asked several times, how? How what? How? You're not telling? Think about All that. I can say is this. <laughs> what? Why do you not tell the secret? Why don't you tell oh, people why you do it? There is a rule in magic. The number one rule. There's, there's three rules, but the number one rule is never reveal the secret to how the magic is done. Because if you know how it's done, it's not magic anymore. In the second rule, I told you folks earlier, it's like the first. And it's never perform the same trick twice for the same audience. Because if you know what's going to happen, it takes away the surprise. And if you're not surprised, then you're going to be able to figure out how the trick is done. And that's the same as giving away the secret. Yeah, I'm still thinking about the one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but gave me it did away the fun of the the wit. It did a it. They take away the fun. Oh, yes, yes, it does take away the fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. Oh, yes. Uh, do you write this one? I wrote that, yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> that looks like you. Oh, Did yeah, so, it or? oh, I didn't draw that, no, I, uh, I wrote the word on the back, though, but, no, I have an artist who, who drew that for me. Okay. Yeah. I I like to draw, but I'm not that good. <laughs> Any other questions? No. Oh yes. Bye. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's like, see ya. What time? Oh, I five. I five. I five.